Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. So much, I uh, want to thank you so much for tuning into our show today. We are going to hear from Mike Hartwell, uh, who's the Human Resources Director with the City of Fergus Falls. But we're not going to talk necessarily about human resources. We're going to talk about the Bigwood Event Center. So we're going to find out a little bit more about what's happening out there. Speaking about big events, I want to invite you to participate in the 30th Annual Battle of the Businesses Bowling Tournament that the Chamber hosts at Northern Air Lanes. We will host this really fun team building event on Saturday, February 11th, which just so you know is what I call Super Bowl Saturday, the day before the Super Bowl. And we have spots for teams to bowl at 12.45, 3 o'clock, and 5 o'clock, but it is filling up fast. This year's theme is Bowling at the Beach, so we are encouraging all teams to dress in their favorite beach attire. Please leave the sand outside. We don't need to bring that into the bowling alley, but it is a whole lot of fun. You'll play blackout bingo. You'll have a chance to win some door prizes. It's a whole lot of fun and a great fundraiser for the Fergus Falls Area Chamber of Commerce. So if you haven't signed up your team yet, make sure you get registered for the Battle of the Businesses Bowling Tournament on Saturday, February 11th, and you can go to fergusfalls.com to get your team signed up. Well, stay tuned. We're going to be visiting with Mike Hartwell with the City of Fergus Falls. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. Mike Hartwell with the City of Fergus Falls is joining me today. Glad to have you on the show today, Mike. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. We can say that right up until like what, May? I think so. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining us today. And uh, you know, there are always a lot of changes uh, with the city of Fergus Falls, you know, we've got a new city council that has been seated and they've started their business for 2023. And one of the changes that's kind of happened, it seems a little gradually, but maybe it doesn't feel like it from your perspective, is the change in management and how things are going at the Bigwood Event Center in Fergus Falls, which is an asset or a property that's owned by the city. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening at the Bigwood. Absolutely. I can say we are open for business. Yeah. And that's exciting because, you know, COVID certainly was an impact. Definitely. For all of us. And it certainly impacted our ability to keep the Bigwood open. And so, you know, we, we've put some new paint on the walls. We've freshened up the building. We have a new manager. Her name is Jess Torgerson. She's yeah. just wonderful. And... We are open for business. And, you know, every week we get new events that are getting booked. Which and is fantastic. It's wonderful. And that is such an important asset for this community. And the more we can book it, the more we're all going to keep humming along. And, uh, you know, I've been amazed because the calls double up and come into my, my phone. And every day somebody's calling to ask about anything from a birthday party availability to corporate events to something statewide. So the venue is really designed to, to do all of that. And I think that's one of the cool things with the Bigwood Event Center is that it truly is uh, a, a space that can be used by community members, uh, businesses, you know, organizations, clubs, you name it for really any size group from a small group of maybe 15 where you want 15 folks in the same room to hundreds. Absolutely. What's nice about it is it's, it's modular. So we have two separate rooms outside the ballroom that can be used for small corporate meetings, um, 
each room is provided with an audiovisual system, whiteboards, all the things you need to do to have a board meeting type right. event. And then you can also expand it into a much larger venue by using our entire ballroom, which also has partition walls that you can also uh, make it smaller if you need to. But, you know, you have the capacity to have events from 10 people all the way up to, I think our capacity is like 480, 500. Wow. So large weddings, large events like that. Yeah, and that's something that is nice too, especially if you've got an event such as a wedding or maybe it's a training that lasts a couple days. Um, folks have a place to stay right next, well, connected with the Country Inn and Suites too. Absolutely. So. That's what makes us unique is... You know, we have the ability to have the meeting space, but also the lodging as well. Even though we're separate, we're still partners. We're still, yep. you know, we have the same interests involved together collectively to provide this type of service for those that need it. And we've got wonderful partners in this area. Ottertail Power has been here using our facility quite a bit, um, and it's worked really well for some of their large training events. So we really would like to... to get the word out that we're open for business for those large events. We right. really specialize in setup for that. We have caterers that we have already vetted, so we have some preferred caterers for large events that we can offer. And I have heard the caterers have done a fantastic job, too. So yes. folks are very impressed and, and you know to have those connections, and they're used to using the space, too, so that's a great thing. You mentioned training, too, and, and that's one thing that I think that you know we've all... Um, maybe gotten used to or learned the technology of, you know, logging into a Zoom training or things like that. But, boy, you get in person, and there is so much more that happens. Uh, in addition to the training, you know, you've got the face-to-face -face networking with the other people who are participating. The Big Woody Event Center is such a great space where you can host training for your, for your business or for your organization, but host it and then invite people from other communities and other businesses to attend it, too. So... You, you bring up a access. very, very good point. I think people were real happy to jump on Zoom when we needed it. Yes. But I think people are just craving that one-on-one uh, -on -one group interaction, getting together and enjoying a cup of coffee together and, and doing more than just uh, getting through the, me the meeting. I think yeah, there's, right. there's something very human about that interaction, and certainly uh, the Big Wood provides that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And, of course, available, too, for, like you said, uh, wedding showers, baby showers, you know, any large group gatherings, you know, 60th birthday parties, of course, weddings, such a great facility for that. And as I understand, too, there's some new technology that is to be installed or working on the process of being installed, much like many of the things in our world over the past couple of years, there have been some shipping delays and pieces and parts that people are waiting for in the manufacturing, but new technology is is on the horizon at the Big Wood, too. Yes, actually, it's all been installed, but one component. So <laughs> each each modular space has a new Epson projector. It has the capability to connect all the sound systems together. Um, but we're waiting on one computer part out of, of course out of Asia to um, <laughs> to come. And unfortunately, the manufacturer doesn't know when. So that's caused some delay, but. We've modified. We have sound right. systems in place. They're portable. We're able to meet the needs for, for people that want to book um, the meeting space. So um, it's adequate, but at some point it's going to be really special. Absolutely. And so if folks are interested to learn more about rates and dates that are available, times, you know, um, you know, how to set it up, that type of thing, what's the best way for folks to, to find that information? Sure. I would uh, go online and, and just type in the Bigwood Event Center. We have a static web page right now that is just a page that you can't surf through, but it does tell you who to contact, hours of operation, sure. and uh, that would be the first step because our with with reopening, our website is currently under construction, <laughs> and we want that website to be really fresh and up to date, and so that's under construction at this sure. point. And folks can, of course, get out to the Big Wood Event Center right on the west end of Fergus Falls. And I think one of the other nice things, too, is that there's plenty of parking out there, too. A lot of times when you plan an event, you think, okay, we have a space, but where are people going to park? So a lot of great parking, and, you know, you have the ability to set up the rooms however you want. And, of course, speaking of that, setting up the rooms, that takes people. Mm -hmm. And I bet... Are there any opportunities available if somebody's looking to pick up something maybe on a part-time, maybe a casual-type basis? There are a, a 
jobs available. There are. We're actually hiring for a part-time um, person to be an assistant out to the Big Wood. And that person could do everything from set up to take down, but also hosting the event. Um, what we're finding is some of these events will run 12, 14 hour sure. duration. And so I'd like to be able to give Jess some time to go home and not work <laughs> a 14 hour day. So right. this person might do the closure at an event or do some other things related to actual hosting. So it's kind of a variety of all things. Right now it's, it's anywhere from zero hours a week to 14, depending on sure. what is booked. Nice thing about it, it's very part-time, and our events are booked typically months in advance. So if you're looking for a part-time opportunity, it really allows you to plan that around your personal life and maybe the other job that you have. Right, yeah, there's, there are some flexibilities that would be needed, and but of course it's not a, a full-on 40-hour commitment. And I think of folks who've maybe recently retired or folks that are looking at getting back in the workforce or yes. what have you, that, that would be a nice opportunity for them. Yes, the only condition there is you need to be 21 years of age sure. because alcohol is served at some of the events, and so we want to make sure that we're... We're above board with, with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, but yes, great opportunity. And you know, as the Bigwood continues to book more and more events, that is going to expand more opportunities. Right. So right now we want to make sure that we're in good financial shape, getting the place up and running and booked, and then we'll continue to expand our job opportunities there. Yeah, what a great asset in our community. Mm -hmm. So Bigwood Event Center, open for business, available for corporate meetings, trainings, special events, parties, celebrations, you name it, you, you can have it. it. You yep. can have a great event there. Absolutely. Well, Mike, we should touch on too with, with there being a position available at the Bigwood Event Center. How about without uh, throughout the city of Fergus Falls? I bet there are some different opportunities that are out there that maybe folks, maybe who are watching, know somebody that we could yes. uh, bring to Fergus Falls. What's interesting about the city of Fergus Falls is we have employees that have been there 10, 20, 30, 35 years. Um, with that, we have an aging workforce. So in the last four years, we've had 54 retirees that wow. have turned out employment from the city. So we've been hiring. Yeah. We are still hiring. Uh, currently, we're looking for a light equipment operator. We're also looking for part-time library aides. We're looking for a full-time police officer. Okay. So the best way to find out what's available is to tune into the uh, online website that uh, always has our employment opportunities posted. Sure. And about how many people work for the city of Fergus Falls? That's, That's a great question. We have 121 <laughs> full-time. Wow. Then we have seasonal employees, and then we have um, permanent part-time employees. So all in total, let's say... In July, when we're at full capacity, yep. there's about 185 employees that will be working at the city. It takes a lot when you think about all the different departments and all the different services that the city of Fergus Falls provides. It takes a lot of people to make that all happen. Absolutely. And, and you said, like you said, you know, you've had some retirements. There's been some great longevity mm -hmm. amongst staff. So it must be a great place to work. I think it is. You bet. A lot of good benefits and, and a good, good camaraderie amongst folks, too. Yeah. So. Lots of work, and you know, every day is different, and we serve the public, and it's yeah. there's a lot of variety that comes our way, um, and you know, we've been having a pretty nice winter so far, so <laughs> it frees up all of our people from snowplow driving to do a lot of other things, because we're always in catch-up mode, yes. so I would tell you, if you're looking for a career opportunity, you will find this job, or any job at the city, very fulfilling because the work is different every day. Yeah, lots of opportunities, and I think it's great, too, that, you know, like you said, in July when it gets full capacity, when you've got, you know, the Park and Recs department mm -hmm. with all of their uh, youth sports and the coaches and, the you know, the sports kids camp and, yeah, yeah and, yeah. you know, mowing and flowers and all of those things that, that come into play. And you mentioned snow plowing. The city has done a fantastic job of keeping the roads clear you know, the re removal of snow, it seems like as soon as they, well, before Christmas anyhow, as soon as they moved the snow, you know, we got more of it. So it, that that is a long, long process. And, and uh, Thank you. It's, yeah, it's, it's a been challenge. Done a great, Public Works has done a great job. It's, it's a challenge, and uh, they take a lot of pride in making sure that they are providing that service at a high level for right. our citizens. Yeah, a lot of roads... A lot of roads to cl there keep clear. Are, right. <laughs> and a lot of little corners to go around. Yeah, big abs equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You mentioned light equipment operators. Speaking of equipment, that would be a position that's available. Light equipment, not as in lighting, right? No. 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 That's light, like heavy light? 
Well, you know, you'd be surprised. It's our entry level position into our street department. So okay. light equipment would there for that position position would be defined as running a skid steer. Sure. Um, running some of our packing street patching equipment. That seems like heavy equipment to me. Well, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll describe <laughs> yeah. the difference. Yeah, tell me some more. And that position would even be um, CDL qualified. Okay. Be driving our dump trucks around with the snow plows on. Front. Sure. Heavy equipment is when you get into the big payloader. Oh, okay. Or the road blade Great. graders yep. that you see going around town. That's considered heavy equipment. Okay. Yeah. See, I learned something new today. It's perfect. <laughs> well, a lot of great opportunities, great organization, you know, serving our community, serving all the residents and businesses of Fergus Falls. We appreciate everything that you do, Mike, and everything that all of the staff and employees at the city of Fergus Falls do. Thank you very much. Anything else we should touch on today? Come check out the big wood we'd love to give you a tour and uh, again we're open for business yeah let your mind open up to all the possibilities that are out there well thanks so much for joining us on the Thank show you. today you'll be back we'll be back after a little bit break here the ultimate wi-fi experience is here with the park region my safety net app welcome home to my safety net the My Safety Net app is designed to easily tailor a custom Wi-Fi experience. The My Safety Net app is simple and intuitive. All features are accessible from the home dashboard. Easily create profiles for people, places, and things. Pause the internet. Set schedules. Run bandwidth tests. Get performance alerts and device statistics. Enhanced features allow you to filter content. Prioritize devices and activities. Get notified and keep track of web threats, intrusions, and blocked viruses. My Safety Net app. Connect, control, and tailor the ultimate Wi Fi experience. My Safety Net by Park Region. Call today. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Find It in Fergus Falls. I want to thank Mike. Mike Hartwell with the City of Fergus Falls for joining us on the show today. If you want to learn more about the Fergus Falls Chamber or any of our chamber members like the City of Fergus Falls, check out our website at fergusfalls.com. I'm Lisa Workman. This has been our show. Find it in Fergus Falls and we'll see you again next time.